Hi, I'm Melissa Logan. I'm here at my Pilates Haven where I do my mat workouts and my online mat classes. And I wanted to talk today about just like combining um, some flows. Um, and so when you think about your mat work, you're not thinking about 34 different exercises, but instead you're just kind of like moving through. And so we'll start this series um, in like connecting different exercises and groupings together um, this week. And so the first one that really I think is super helpful is um, the saw and corkscrew and the saw and um, spine twist, okay? So what I, what I want you to kind of feel there is that they're not actually very different. Um, so you shouldn't have to like be setting them up and going, okay, and now I'm doing the corkscrew. And then, okay, now I'm doing the saw. Should just be, and I'm twisting and bending, and I'm twisting and bending, right? That kind of thing. So first we'll do the saw. So your feet are that little wider than your mat, your arms are out wide, and the tendency is to sit forward. So make sure that you pull your stomach back and you sit up tall and then you twist and you bend and you're gonna just reach a little more forward more forward pulls twist to the other side and bend so there is differences in what the choreography calls for but when I go to roll down my goal is not to stop and reset right I'm gonna roll down for my corkscrew and I should just be able to take that and roll up and then twist and come around, right? And that was actually even too much set up. So hopefully when I come down for my saw, I can just twist and go so that my center in theory should be trained to not need me to do a lot. There we go. Now we are talking about connecting. So then when I come up for the saw this next time, I just want to show you how you can think about the saw and your spine twist as well. So even though they don't come after each other in the mat, it shouldn't be this whole separate exercise. It's not like you've never twisted before. When you get to the spine twist, you've twisted a few times. So it really doesn't make a difference, right, in your body. It might think, it might feel like it does, but it doesn't. And so what I'm hoping that this sets your mind off in doing your corkscrew and your saw and your corkscrew and saw and then just like twisting in your spine twist is what if every time you got to a new exercise in your mat, you didn't stop, set up, and move? That You just put your body parts where they need to go and then move through it um, so that you don't have 34 different mat exercises. Um, you have one. Okay, um, that's a discussion I want to talk about today. Hopefully it'll make more sense as we go through it in the next few weeks here on um, Friday videos. So, and I'm Leslie Logan. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week.